family. In tennis terms, the person who's been the most influential is his uncle Tony, who's guided him right the way through his spectacular career. And he's still the person Rafa defers to in all matters tennis. Well, it's a great pleasure to be sitting with Tony Nadal, of course, uh, Rafael's uncle and Rafael's coach. Thank you for having us in your house first. Mm -hmm. Well, you were born here, you lived here your whole life in Manacor, so has Rafa. You're playing in the same tennis club. Uh, how important is it uh, to live such a normal life? Well, really, we don't know why we should do things differently. We've always lived here. I don't understand the need for change when things are rolling well. We're content here. That's why we haven't changed. During Rafael's injury and his break, some people thought that maybe Rafael is never going to play tennis again. Were you worried about that? Well, yes, we were worried because the injury period was longer. We had some complicated moments because the recovery was slower than we expected. So it's normal to have doubts. There were some moments when we were thinking it was going to be really difficult to get back to the level he was in previous years. We still don't know today if we'll go back as high or maybe just a bit lower. Well, players usually get confidence from winning matches, winning tournaments, and it seems that Rafa's confidence is way up uh, where it used to be. Um, are you and Rafa surprised at his level of confidence this quickly after seven months off? Confidence is very important, but in tennis the most important are the hands and the legs. If both are working well, then it's easier to be confident. Normally it's the best players in the world who have a high confidence level. I've hardly ever seen people with a low tennis level having high confidence. It's true, it's somewhat surprising that Rafa won important titles, like uh, Acapulco or Indian Wells, so quickly. But I think that the tennis level is what's made the difference. India Wells, pero yo creo que el nivel tenístico I think que ha marcado la diferencia. Rafa has a very high tennis level at the moment. Muy bueno. La final de Acapulco contra Maybe the key moment was the Acapulco final against Ferrer when he realized that he could compete against players of such a very high standard. Contra jugadores de altísimo nivel y creo que esta es la A win like that does push up the confidence level. Confianza más o menos buena. Well, of course, Rafa has won the French Open seven times. Bjorn Borg, a good friend and also from Sweden of mine, uh, has won it six times. Can you believe that your nephew, Rafael, has won the French Open more than Bjorn Borg? For me, even today, it's unbelievable. I still remember Bjorn Borg, an amazing player. When I saw him playing, well, for me, he was better than Rafa. I still remember the first time Rafa won in 2005, and I always thought that he would win more as he was so young. But seven times seems to me unbelievable. There are things in tennis that look to me unbelievable. This and 81 consecutive wins on clay, I would never have imagined it. Well, to me, when I watch uh, Rafael play at the French Open, he's always the favorite. He's been the favorite for, for eight years. Is he the favorite to you to win every time? Well, no, he's not my favorite. I always have a fear of losing, so I don't assume that role as the favorite. I know Rafael is part of a group of candidates who could get to the final. This year, the favorites are Djokovic, Del Potro, David Ferrer, Rafael, Murray. 
No sé si Federer le veo un poco menos. Not sure about Federer, he says. For me, those are the favourites. Rafa is just part of that group, but I'm not sure he is the maximum favourite, as some see it. No sé si... I never see it quite like that. Yo no lo veo casi nunca así. After the break and the injury, have the goals changed for you and Rafa? No, no, no. Nosotros tenemos una... It's our philosophy of the sport. Our, our first goal is always to win. And that's the prime motivation for anyone. It's not about being number one, number two, or number three, but to win tournaments. That's the main reason why you compete. What really changes is the way of winning. We know that if we want to win, we need to do some things differently. We know we have to be a bit more aggressive sometimes. We have to go to the net more. And mostly, perhaps to run less, but the goals we have and Rafa has are the same to win. We are so happy in the tennis world that Rafael is back on the circuit, and I'm sure you are too. So good luck. Thank you very much. We are happy too.